can't tell you how many times I've changed my three E's. I've gotten to where I am now because I changed my three E's. At any given time, we can make a decision. I want my, my environment to be better. I want my experience to be better. And I want my exposure to be better. What do I mean by that? If we was raised in poverty, that don't mean that's that, that's where we have to stay. If I was raised around someone or been, my group of people was always somebody wanted to go to the club. No, I want people that's all about going themselves, elevating. Let's go buy plazas. Let's do this. Let's talk about investing. I'm changing my three E's. And some people don't realize that they have that control. Like all of us have that control. Uh, you got challenges that you're going to run across. So when you're reading books, at any given time, you can find me reading three to five different books at a time. Why? Because I read for mastery, not for completion. I'm reading to grab something to be able to apply. Right now, we're reading Winning by um, Tim Grover. He's the same man. I know Tony and I talked about this. You told he, me about it. Guess what? He got, listen, <laughs> he's the same. I'm reading it right now. <laughs> he wrote, wrote Relentless, which yeah. is amazing. The thing is, you read for mastery. Mastery means something Get that you just read. Yeah. I need to now apply this apply to that. There you go. Apply yes. it to my yeah. life to make me better. Right. Because if I make me better, those around me are going to be made better right. by default. Right. Because right. Just because. like just like what he said, the, the three E's he took from you, he's going to apply that. And yep. when you reading, you got to grab something out of there and apply. You just can't be just reading. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got to take some of those thoughts and apply them. And Claire, that's, that's the whole key implementation and and being um what's the word i'm looking for um intentional, uh, intentional so yep. you can learn it just because you read it if you don't apply it it doesn't matter right you're not using it it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying right, right. so you have and to do it zig ziglar mm -hmm. talked about I always have a note pen and a pad because right. you hear some bill brick talked about that when you go to sleep at night have a pen and a pad and next because you may have a thought yeah, because I've had thoughts and I had no pen and I don't forgot what the thought was. <laughs> and I had a pen. Now uses her notes. She's a high tech person. Man, Bishop Browner said, "If you think it, ink it. Write it down." <laughs> I got you. Listen, I do too. I got my oh, notebook. Got no right too? Okay, I, oh, yeah, I got you. I got three okay. of them. All right. On top of that, <laughs> write notes that, now. I got index my... <laughs> cards and I take my notes. But right. here's what I'm going to tell you, Clarence. As you're telling people about those three E's, all of us at any given time. I can't tell you how many times I've changed my three E's. I've gotten to where I am now because I changed my three E's. At any given time, we can make a decision. That I want my, my environment to be better. I want my experience to be better. And I want my exposure to be better. What do I mean by that? If we was raised in poverty, that don't mean that's, that, that's where we have to stay. If I was raised around someone or been, my group of people was always somebody who wanted to go to the club, no. I want people that's all about going themselves, elevating. Let's go buy plazas. Let's do this. Let's talk about investing. I'm changing my three E's. And some people don't realize that they have that control. Like all of us have that control. Mm -hmm. Man, everything happens in an environment. Oh, wow. Everything. You can't, you can't go to the St. Regis and have a holiday in thoughts. Right. Listen. You get exposed. Experience. Right. <laughs> right. So in certain areas, I just won't live. I had a pastor said that, you know, he does this uh, marriage counseling a lot. And he said he found out that he said he's been doing it for 20 some years. He said he found out sometimes it's the little things and the little thought processes that can ruin or, or that lets you know this person is not on your page and this person might not be the one you, you know, he said he gave one example of the, uh, the wife was thinking about ordering some drapes and she wanted to get drapes to kind of match things around the house. He said the husband, when he was thinking about drapes, he thinking about curtains. That's, that's two different things. <laughs> like, he think about going down the street to Walmart and grab some curtains and put them up. She think about <laughs> ordering some drapes, you know, some drapes. <laughs> He likes some drapes, but she got to have somebody to come in and measure. Make them, right? Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He think about just going grab some curtains. Drapes and curtains are two different things, but that's his mindset, you know. Yeah. So now sometimes opposite do attract. You don't need to have the same type person in the house, so both y'all don't need to be that way. And sometimes that helps. But yeah. that thought process, though, 
sometimes it is really, really after a while you can't, because that's when they say, you know, I'm just, he don't really want nothing. He don't really want nothing in life. And I'm trying to get some things and he just happy where he is. You know what I'm saying? Or, or she don't want nothing or she just happy where she is. And I'm trying to grow. I want to have bigger and better things. And you hear that a lot with people where they say, you know, the, the I've heard women other. say that about some guys that they don't, right. they're, they're just cool where they are. Right. They don't really, they're not really ambitious. Why are you trying and to and they may this? be doing okay, but they're just yeah. not, they don't want more. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you trying to do all that? But there's nothing wrong with that though. You yeah. know, there's nothing wrong with a female saying that they want somebody that wants to continue to grow because right. you're either growing or you're not growing. There's no in between. Right. Yeah. Either yeah. growing yeah. or you're not growing. For right. me, it's important that I date someone they have they have to be a visionary because mm -hmm. I know how I am. And right. again, that goes back into being able to date someone who can lead you leading someone leading you is not controlling you. There's a difference because somebody said, oh, you want somebody to lead you? No, I can very well do on my own. But, you know, and, and you know, this is going to be a whole nother conversation. We want to probably <laughs> shouldn't get into it, but have to come back. But I'm just saying uh, people will stop settling for less than what you deserve and you desire. I'll put it right. that way, because right. if you know that you're a visionary, God forbid he didn't connect the two of you all and you all are, are both dreamers. Again, Clarence, you're right. There's nothing wrong with someone One being where they are yeah. and saying, hey, I'm good where I am. I worked hard. I've achieved this. This is all I want to achieve. Like I talk to people and some people say, hey, I don't want to be a millionaire. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. If I'm doing this, but you know, they're comp that's what they, that's their dream. That's what they have desired. Um, can that change? Of course it can change, but do you want to put them in a position to force them? No, I want you to be exactly who you are. Um, because this is a part of us getting to know each other. Well, and again, that, there's nothing wrong with that. The thought that I always say to people who say that is, and I'm trying to figure out, didn't you see that in the beginning? Then somebody tell you that nobody else in your family saw that this person was that way. You didn't see that he wanted curtains instead of drapes. You didn't see that he wanted to shop at um, you know, Target instead of uh, Neiman or something. You, did you see that? How did you not? How did you miss that? And you've been dating for a while. And let's talk about the mere fact that somebody may that he may go to somebody and say, and share their conversation. Like, man, I thought she said she was just gonna go down you know, going to go down the street and grab some curtain. And right. she was talking about drapes. Oh, you know, you dating that old bougie woman. Yeah, and yeah. Da, 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 because, and that's the stuff that people will come back and say because they haven't been exposed to something different. And that's Look, why you keep people out your relationship. I'd have told this. Yeah, you're right. Keep them all out. <laughs> don't put, don't post it. Don't put anything, whatever. But I've told this story, I don't know how many times, but I got to tell it again when you said what you just said. So when I got married, uh, we did our, we got married down at Sanibel Island down in uh, Florida. And they got, it's a, it's an island, a resort, and they got all these, uh, you know, townhomes and all this on the resort. So <laughs> I don't know if I said this publicly before, but <laughs> I'll talk to the partners about this. So we go down and uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> We go into her mother's and father's uh, suite first. So we walk in and uh, her mom is going off. She's she's going off. She's got American Express on the phone and she's telling American Express, this is not no suite. This is some little cheap thing they got. You got us in this. You got to get us out of that. My wife's dad is in the bedroom. He's a big guy. And you can, what's so funny, you can see his feet hanging off the bed because the bed ain't big enough for him, right? And he's telling my wife, Shelly, get your mother. I'm not moving. <laughs> get your mother. I didn't spend enough money. I don't get off the phone with American Express because we're not moving from this place. We'll be here for another three days and we go home. I'm not. And she on the phone. Ah, this is, this is not, this is some junk. This is not the way, you know, and he's like, get your mother because I'm not moving. It was so funny. So we left out. We go upstairs with my mom, my aunt, my mom, my aunt, my two aunts, they up there. And when we walk in, we walk out on the little patio deck where they out there sitting in the middle. My mom say, 
Ooh, I see how the rich people live. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. This is beautiful. This Bruh. is all oh, that. <laughs> it was like night and day. So I knew I had somebody bougie, but I'm like, it's like, oh, this is so, you got to bring me back down here. You got to, my aunt's like, oh, yeah, look at the ocean. Look at the water. This is so beautiful. And downstairs where we just left, it's some junk. I don't believe you got us in this. Mayor Express, we're not going to pay you. Get your, get your mother, shall I? Get your mother. So when you, that, that's like curves and drapes almost. That's and that so exposure I, that yeah, Kai talked about. Yeah, yeah you're right. right. It's that exposure. Here's, here's exposure. Now, I had to say this. A mother, her dad owned a few Burger Kings. He played professional football. Played them. So Firestone, they travel around the world. They've been... My mom, you know, she got a college degree. She'd been teaching for 30 years and didn't really go anywhere. That was just who she is. That's her personality. She didn't like traveling, didn't even go. So she hadn't she hadn't been exposed to a lot of stuff. So to her, that was magnificent. That was, you know, it was like, it was like, you know, but to somebody who's been exposed to a lot of stuff, it might seem like that's not the way it should be. Uh, so uh that's interesting when you talk about you know that how two people get together and you gotta know what you're dealing with when you get started tony some people think 15 dollars an hour is a lot of money yep they really do yep they really some do. people they some people think 40 dollars an hour is a lot of money and then until they experience like something different right right you gotta experience yeah. it you know what i'm saying right. you once your mind gets exposed it can't go back yeah you can't. It's you can't go that back. That goes back to what Tony said a while ago, with you know a man, a man that has worked for himself. You know, like you all. Mm -hmm. If you get to a point where you feel you need to go and apply for a job, mentally, that's going to mess you up. Mess you up, yeah. It's, it's going like to mess you hard. up because you're like, what have I done to done. now get me? You get to Listen, this I have had those same thoughts because right. I have been able. We've achieved so much, and like you said, right. we're in the one percent. And different mm -hmm. things that we do, and when life happens, sometimes life will happen. Unex of course, it always happens unexpectedly. But sometimes we try to prepare ourselves for it when, in the event that life does happen, and it can really make you think. Like, and that's when it will test every piece of personal development and mm -hmm. all of that that you have ever yeah. poured into you. Right. And you're like, I'm still gonna do it, and you're sitting there, I'm sitting here doing this, and this is, I'm still feeling this way. Mm. We're not immune to it, but the more you work on yourself, the the the, the more you put in, the better the outcome yeah. will be. Yeah. yeah. And certain conversations you can't have with people. You can't yeah. have money conversations. Like I love my mom, mm. but I can't have money conversations. We can't talk about money. Right. money. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. Certain things. I remember my best friend telling me, he said, if you and this is not for bad about people that have jobs. He just mm. told me that because he knew my personality. He said, if you got a small dream, a job will do. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a small dream, you know right. what I'm saying? But he told that to me, not to say that if you got a job, you have a small dream, but he knew right. what my goal is and what my dream is. So certain people know how to talk to you based on what you want in life. Right, right. But that goes back to perspective because I have this conversation often. There is absolutely nothing. We have all worked jobs. There's nothing wrong with working a job. Technically, if you want to be honestly honest about it, a job is earned income. It's great to have a job and continue to do the other things that you desire to do. A right. job is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It is. You, know, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. have to do you yeah. know, other things because you're like, look, I got my benefits. I got this. I got that going on. And I'm still out here. You know, I have various properties or I'm still um, running a salon. Or I'm owning this or owning, you know, what coffee shops or whatever the case may be in addition to your job. See, it's, it's a lot of people. Us. Mm -hmm. Our yeah, parents had it harder because they didn't have social media. They didn't have, yeah. they didn't listen to books and tapes and, and they, all, yeah, they, they and didn't know about that, all that. They didn't have options that we had. They didn't have all that no, that no, we no. have now. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it was those jobs that fed us when we was right. growing up. Right. We you just know. happened to be in the area of an uh, era where entrepreneurship. So now My we mother, have choices. We have man, options. My they mother's didn't never have. seen a computer. She don't even want a computer. She don't even know what go. I show her on my phone, you know, you know, Instagram and Facebook and 
TikTok. And so she like, wow. <laughs> she like, but she never really, she never really wanted that. She never so really looked at that. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Mine the same way. I bought my mom right. and dad a laptop last year for Christmas. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Took it down there, set it up for them, all of that. Right. It's still, you know, I got the laptop. Another one of my sisters, she bought the desk. That's been a year and a half ago. I got, no, uh -huh. I got it Christmas of 20, what's it, 23? 2022 uh, is when I got it. Right. It was around Christmas of 2023 that my sister was calling me like, hey, well, what, when you set mom's computer up, what, what was this? What was that? Like, they haven't logged on to it, right? <laughs> yeah. But she would use her phone. Yeah. But going back to what Clarence said, you said something so profound. Our parents didn't have it. And my mom is now on social media. And my family called, you know, I grew up, my nickname was Kelly. And my family, my mom would um, call me sometimes. And when we talk and she'll say, Kelly, how are you so positive? And she said, you know, sometimes I'll log on social media just to see your post. Right. She said, because, you, you know, you you always are, you're always adding value to other people. You're always doing it. You don't seem to let nothing bother you. And that's when I realized what I've been giving to everybody else and pouring into everybody else. I need to take that time and pour it into my mom because my mom mm -hmm. has never been in an environment where the people around her elevated her. Right. You know, they've been exposed to the same wow. thing. Wow. So now That's as I point. talk and I coach people and I work with people, I do the same thing with my mom. I'm like, here's mom, here, mom, here's a book I'm going to send you. I'm gonna, I want mm -hmm. you to listen to the audio or whatever. And she's so excited. My mama mm -hmm. will be 70 on February the 3rd. And she is so excited even at this age to be right. growing and <laughs> developing now a growth mindset and wanting more than she's ever desired for herself because I'm telling you, your mind controls everything. Mm -hmm. So when you said that about, about family, that made me think of my own mom because I'm right. like, and I'm like, mama, you can't let people call you with their issues too. I said, they you know, I don't, right. People don't dump on me, you know, be okay. Telling people, listen, I got enough going on over here in my own world. I right. cannot allow anything that you're dealing with to be added onto it. Yeah. He but a lot of people him, just, just tell them Kim calling. I got that from Stormy. <laughs> Kim is keep it moving. Be like, hey, uh, Kim's on the phone. I'm gonna talk to you later. Keep it moving. Hey, I, yeah. I think I left my cabinet open. I got to go close my cabinet. Right, right, right. <laughs> Girl, I because they don't do personal development. Yeah, like I don't, don't, I don't, don't say stuff that. that I don't want. The subconscious mind don't know the difference between a joke or the truth. Oh, yeah, yeah. And here's so, everything. Too. In addition to the Bible, because you know our older people, they're like, "Oh, I can just read that's it." That's all I, I need. Yeah. In addition to that, because that's the only way I start my day every single day is in the Word, praying, meditating, reading my Bible. Right. But in addition to that, because you whatever you listen to at the first part of your day, it really does set the tone for your day. It's going to yeah. prepare you. And right. I always say, I know God gives me exactly what I need because He already know what I'm going to deal with uh, um, throughout the day. Right. So that's in addition, you know, listen to something instead of turning that TV on all the time. I remember when I used to hear people say that years ago and I'm like, what's wrong with turning the TV on? You know, you know this. But as I started to really work on me, it takes away from you when you're watching a lot of crap on TV. Right. It ain't the TV now. It's Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, it's Instagram, Facebook, social Instagram, media, TikTok. How many all people get like? I know yeah. people have been like, "Girl, I've been watching TikToks for the last two hours." Yeah, really? What yeah. A, is TikTok? The algorithm. The algorithm is supposed to catch you and lock you on there, and that's what happens. Those no, but but Tony, it's the U.S. algorithm. If you look at TikTok in Asia, it's not entertainment. It's all wow. it's it's all educational. Wow! Yep. Wow! I'm gonna send you that. I'm gonna send you that yeah. clip. Yeah, TikTok, I heard about TikTok that. TikTok yeah. in Asia is all about a, education. Wow. This wow. it's only US where it's all entertainment. Wow. We got totally run, we got one more video we're going to end it. Let's run that okay. one, Valerie. It's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done it better. The credit belongs to the person who's actually in the arena whose face is marred with blood and sweat and dust, who at the best in the end knows the triumph of high achievement and who at worst, if he fails, he fails daring greatly. So, you know, with that, um, sometimes it's very hard for me to listen to people who's not in the fight, 
who's not breaking a sweat, who's not in the trenches, who has not done certain things that I've attempted or done, uh, but they can sit back and criticize or give me advice on that. And I'm like, you know, sometimes I'll hear you, but I'm a, I'm gonna throw it out the window because I know it ain't that, you know, you the critic, you trying to give me something, but you ain't in that fight. You're not doing the things that we're doing. You're not sacrificing like I sacrifice. And so, you know, a lot of times you got so many people that's on the sideline that's barking at you with all kind of negativity. You have to kind of let that go and understand that you're in the trenches. They are not. My, my, my mentor used to tell me all the time, and it took me a minute to get it, but he said, Tony, the dogs may bark, but the caravan moves on. And he made me think about that. You know, think about an old caravan that's going through the mountains and stuff. It's still moving slow. I don't care what you're doing. You might be trying to rob us. You might be throwing rob- but we moving and moving and moving. So you can't let these critics that's not in the fight, all these negative people, man, you can go, like I said, on social media, half of them folks be sitting on milk crates somewhere and they texting you, uh, come in with some negative stuff that they don't even know anything about. You just have to keep fighting and don't worry about that, you know, conversation. We're about the ones that are, or concern yourself with the ones that are supporting you and keep going. <laughs> I agree. It's like I say, single people get the best advice when it comes to relationships. <laughs> <laughs> bra, wake up, Valerie. <laughs> That's a bra moment, right? There. But um, I, I agree with you, Tony. Um, right. If they're not in the fight, they don't understand. Right. And it's okay they don't understand. But that's why you keep your circle small. The smaller your circle, and you don't always have to, and you, we all do personal development. Some people right. teach, don't even tell people your goal. Mm-hmm. Keep them to yourself. Uh, yeah, you, you know I if you agree listen with that. to I agree with that totally. Yeah, Waddle D. Waddle say that. that. Yeah, he talks about keeping your goals to yourself. Um, a lot of these guys say that. So when you do that and your circle's small, you don't have a lot of people that's telling you what you can't do and you can't do this, right. you can't you do that. You know what I'm saying? Because your circle's so small, you know it's yeah. only a, it's only nine negative people. They get around a lot. Uh, it's only like nine everywhere. of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you can't allow them to sabotage you because no. they don't know the game plan you run it. If you keep it quiet, they can't even go out there and try to say something. Just And then once it happens, boom. Oh, I Steve Harvey said that. that. He said, yeah. y'all telling people y'all goals and dreams, and they and then yeah. they, and they beat they, you up over yeah, Exactly. They are here trying to sabotage you. You That's know, funny. Apple don't go out and tell them what they're doing. They do, they do it, and then they present it. And then right. now you know it's the best thing in the world. Right. So we good with that? We good? Yeah, I appreciate all, appreciate you guys tonight. Uh, uh, y'all give me some last thoughts on the whole thing. Not just, I got one I'm thought. Not this. Okay, go ahead. Ty, you know you look like the lady from, um, what's her name? Cosby yeah. Show. Yeah, kind of. She does look like, uh, what's the, the wife of Bill? Uh, yeah, the wife of Bill Cosby. What's you know who I, get, who I get more often? Who? If I take these off, I don't have no lashes on. I get I look like Janet Jackson a lot. Uh, Tony, you remember that event I, we had, and that's what I dressed like I dressed as her. So oh, I, I Phil, look, Phil, 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 Felicia Rashad. That's her. Yeah, you look more like Felicia Rashad. You really do. I never heard yeah. that. But here's the crazy wow. thing. When I was doing some of my act, I was doing some acting, and one of my acting coaches, she always used to give me scripts from Felicia Rashad, because she's like, you put me in the mind of Felicia Rashad. Yeah. Your mannerisms and how you are. Your, your whole complexion, all of that. It's like, you you like wow, her. I can see, I can, I can kind of see some Janet now with the the dress. With the long hair on the side yeah, and the little yeah, hat she got yeah, on. I'm yeah, show yeah. y'all a picture, because I know this is going to be edited out. Let okay. me show you. Tony, I, I, think, I think you was here, but you you may I, not have been. You had on uh, Janet gear? I did a like a recap. I want Okay. Let me see. Okay. Wow. Ooh. I see that. I kind of see that. <laughs> with that. Oh, man. Bring it down some. Bring it down some. Yeah, right. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay. That's cool. But, okay, um, Janet. 
Oh, yeah, Janet. But I always heard that when I model and do TV stuff, like when I have the makeup and the lashes and all that, that's what I get. Like, oh my God, if I ever say you look like Janet, I said, yeah, maybe when she was Penny. Before anything. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about but, Penny. Uh, but I appreciate that. Either way, it's a, it's a compliment. I appreciate that. Speaking of appreciate, I appreciate you guys for coming on tonight. Uh, I really enjoyed our conversation. You know, I'm going to call you all back for some more. We have, we might have a couple of more people on here, like a couple of more ladies on your side, Kai. And then we might get another. We'll see if we get five or six of them. Yeah, you did. You did. You did great. And uh, class, you also did great, man. I appreciate you guys. Hey, man, if you want, man, my girl, she's in Dallas. When she come back, I'll introduce you to her. You might want to have her on the show. Yes. You know that. I'm always looking for people that we can have on. So, cool. Let's do it. And you know, so you did an awesome waiting. job, Tony, man. But I appreciate know, being on. It was nice meeting you, Kai. But you know nice who I'm waiting on. Here. I'm waiting on him, too. It's been almost six months. <laughs> when we get him, we're going to blow up. Y'all, I ain't going to mention who it is right now. But we, we're we going to get him, right? We're going to get him. All right. <laughs> okay. Universe going to bring him around. Bring him on around. Ooh, All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys. We signed it out. And don't forget to go like, subscribe. And I told you all. We have about 6,000 subscribers now. I want to get to, my goal was to get to 10,000 in 12 months. It's been nine months. We got three more months to get 4,000 more subscribers. Come on, man. Just go on. Tell, share it with some people and say, look, just help this brother out. He's trying to get a few more subscribers. To it. So we out of here. Thank you, guys. All right, Tony. All, all right, right. Kai. Bye, y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe and, and hit the all button and all that kind of stuff because we're going to have a lot of good interviews uh, on this podcast.